Turning our attention now to Bowie County, where jurors in the Taylor Parker capital murder trial heard some of Parker's jail calls today. Testimony comes as the penalty phase continues. NBC 6's Donald Burton joins us now live outside the courthouse, sharing what these calls reveal. Donald, good evening. Danny and Jackie, the jury heard several calls that show Taylor Parker still has no remorse for the killing of Reagan Hancock and kidnapping her unborn baby, Braxton Sage. The calls also show Parker has not owned up to any of the lies and schemes she pulled off leading up to the crime. Parker acted surprised when her mother told her that her ex-boyfriend, Wade Griffin, seemed to be catching on to some of the lies, including the fire she set under his home on the day she was supposed to have her labor induced. One of the most notable moments from the calls played today was when Parker was crying to her mother about her ex-husband refusing to allow her to talk to their young son. Parker's mother told her if she had been thinking about the children that she might not be in the situation that she's in. But her mother also told her that what's done is done and told Parker she has to deal with the consequences as best as she can. Parker quickly changed the subject. In another call, Parker was complaining about the policy requiring lights to stay on 24 hours a day in her jail cell. Parker's mother suggested she try to trigger a migraine attack by keeping her eyes open as long as she could. She also complained that the DA was stacking the charges against her for doing what she called just one horrible thing. When her mother told her something was not right with her and asked when she might get a psychiatric evaluation, Parker changed the subject again. Now you can find more on these jail calls on our website at ktlnews.com. Reporting in Bowie County, Texas, Donald Britton, NBC6 News. All right, thank you very much, Donald.